Thank you for joining this quick getting started with Formulas Screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this screencast, we're going to get started with formulas that you can use in custom fields, validation rules, and workflow logic. In our example, we'll create a formula field that calculates a commission based on the annual revenue field on the account. In Lightning Experience, click Setup on the top right corner and select the Setup menu. Choose the Object Manager and choose the object you would like the formula field to appear on. For our example, we'll choose Accounts. Select Fields and Relationships. Create a new field. Choose Formula and click Next. Here we choose the type of data we want to display. There's a link in the short description of this screencast to an article with more information on the different data types and limitations. For example, you can't delete fields referenced in formulas. You need to remove the field from the formula before you can delete it. In our example, we'll use the currency field. Enter a field label and click Next. The API field name will be generated automatically, but can be adjusted if needed. For the recommended practices for naming fields, check the article in the short description of the screencast. For this example, we'll create a custom calculation that calculates the monthly commission of an account based on the annual revenue. But as a special requirement, the company wants to implement different percentages depending on a threshold. If the total revenue of the account is above 100000 then the agent should get a lower percentage. Let's go! Select the Advanced Formula tab. On the right side, select Functions. Then select the IF formula and click Insert Selected Function. The displayed value will be IF, open parens, Logical Test Value, comma, value if this test is true, comma, and what the value should be if the test turns out to be false. Close the parens. In the text area, select the logical test section of the formula and insert the field that you want to check against. We want to check annual revenue on the account object, so choose account, then annual revenue. The field name is populated in the text area below. Now insert the logical test, in our case, below or equal to 100,000. The next section of the formula is the value if the test is true. We will insert a calculation that will multiply the revenue by 0.15 and then divide it by 12 to represent the monthly amount. For the last section, the value of false, in other words, if the annual revenue is above 100,000, we'll do the same calculation, but this time with the value of 0.05 to represent a lower percentage, and then divide by 12, again to represent the monthly amount. Before saving the formula, we recommend using the check syntax structure at the bottom to see if anything needs to be amended. We're all good, so we'll click Next. Choose the field access for the different profiles and add the field to the page layouts and click Save. Great! We've just created a formula field that calculates the monthly revenue based on the annual revenue field. For a list of other useful operators and functions, check the short description of this screencast for a link. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.